الحمد للہ و صلاۃ وسلام علی نبی محمد و علی و صحبہ وسلم اما بن حبت اللہ آئی تھاٹ اٹ بی ویری امپورٹنٹ فار اس ٹو گو تھرو سم سم آف تفسیر امام سعدی رحیم اللہ تعالیٰ اینڈ جس سم لائٹ ریڈنگس ود سم تعلیقات اور سم بریف کامنٹری آن وٹ دس گریٹ امام لیف فار اس ایز فار ایز اے تفسیر سلفیہ that is a more contemporary um, tafsir which especially regarding regarding all the usul of the deen ittimad ala tariqat salaf you know there is a strict adherence and reliance on the qawaid and principles and usul of the salaf as-salih and that's why what i meant by uh, tafsir as-salafiyya and We'll begin with Surah Al-Fatiha and we'll keep it as brief as possible in a few sittings or here and there and, and just try to gain some fawaid to bring us closer to the divine speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which is Allah wa ta'ala's speech and it is what we uh, recite in order to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala it is where we take our aqidah, our creed, our methodology And everything in our religion, it comes from the book of Allah and the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So we need to have some insight into what Allah tabarak wa ta'ala says and what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala means in His divine speech. Beginning in Surah Al-Fatiha, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Ar-Rajeem, Bismillahi Ar-Rahman Ar-Rahim, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين نمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين الله سبحانه وتعالى says after saying in the name of Allah the most beneficent the most merciful بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Uh, all praises belongs to Allah, the Lord of the worlds, the most gracious, the most merciful. The master of the day of judgment, you alone we worship and you alone we seek help. Guide us to the straight path, the path of those whom you have blessed, not of those whom have earned your wrath, nor of those who have gone astray. Ahabatifillah. Surah Al-Fatiha, Umm Al-Kitab, is the surah in which we recite in order to have our prayers accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We recite Surah Al-Fatiha in every rakah. So that shows us the importance of this surah, that this is a surah that is imploring Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is... Tawheed al-Uluhiya Because it's your 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 atlab al-Hidayah You're asking for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Asking for His guidance Begging for His assistance And, and, and affirming that it's Him and Him alone you worship That's Tawheed al-Ibadah Tawheed al-Uluhiya Likewise Tawheed al-Rububiya Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen All praise belongs to the Lord of the worlds. That's the Lordship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's, that is uh, acknowledging the Lordship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's Tawheed al That He is the Lord and the owner of all creation. He is Al-Khaliq, Al-Razik. He is the creator and the sustainer. And He is the Rabbil Alameen. He is the Lord of the worlds. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imam Sa'adi, Rahim Allah ta'ala, he says, after saying, in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, that is, I begin with every name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, glorified and exalted is He. This includes all the beautiful names of Allah. Allah, He is the one who is worshipped. The only one who deserves to be worshipped because of the divine attributes he has, 
which are attributes of perfection. So there Imam Sa'di, rahimahullah ta'ala, is letting us know that one of the kawa'id, one of the principles of al-asma'i wa sifat, of the divine names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's sifat donate, uh, uh, denote per perfection, perfection. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, His divine sifat, we say they're divine because they're perfect. All of the sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are perfect and unlike His creation. And that's why there's no comparison between Him and His creation. And there's no resemblance between Him, tabarak wa ta'ala, and His creation. Because the creation possesses sifat. But the sifat of the creation are imperfect. For example, I hear and I see. Even my seeing is so deficient that now I'm wearing glasses sometimes. That shows us a hub of tifillah, the imperfection of the creation. Even though one of my characteristics is that I can see. I have sight. I possess sight. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wa huwa sami'un basir. He is the all-seeing and the all-hearing, den den uh, denoting perfection. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is perfect in His qualities, in His divine attributes and sifat, tabarak wa ta'ala. And we'll stop there. We're going to keep these sittings very brief. And until the next sitting, we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.